Hey girls, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working outside the shop. We're going to be pouring a, uh, a small concrete pad next to my outside um, faucet that I use to connect my water hose to water my plants and lawns with. So this is probably a really simple project that a lot of DIYers uh, could do themselves. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see here, this is this is where I'm going to actually pour a, a little small pad here so that when I come out uh, of the house here, if it's bad weather or raining or something, I can actually get to the water faucet uh, without having to step off in the mud. I'm going to come out about three foot from the slab and uh, three foot over from the edge of the sidewalk. Just, this is just a really simple concrete pad I'm going to pour. Um, so this is my first pour, so I wanted to start with something small and uh, see how it goes. So what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to actually dig out all the, the grass and the vegetation, kind of clear, clear and clean that up, and then uh, measure my forms and get those in place, and we'll go from there. Okay guys, we're back and as you can see, I've cleaned out all the the vegetation there, kind of raked that out level as I can get it. Uh, put my forms together and uh, got my level on it here. Just want to show you real quick, a, a close up. As you can see, that bubble is off just a little bit, but I, I need it to be off high on that one end so that the water drains off when it rains and plus there is a a rain downspout there so I do want the water running away from the house so that's why I have that one off just about a quarter of a bubble now if you I'm gonna move this over here as you can see this level this is level straight across there so that's where we're at with that part I, I did run into a bit of a, a problem here you can't see but Right in the middle, just off the slab of the back patio, there is a sprinkler head. So I'm going to have to either um, cap that sprinkler head off or move it. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but uh, I'm, I'm going to think about it for a minute and take a quick break. And then uh, we'll get back to it. Okay, guys, I'm back here. It looks like I've, I've got the sprinkler head moved. I've got everything framed and, and ready to go form for the concrete. I put a little wire um, in uh, to help strengthen the, the little pad here and and you know you don't have to on these sides but you know I want it to last and I really don't want it to crack so I don't want to have to redo this job again so it doesn't cost much for some wire you can pick it up at Home Depot. I'm also using Quickcrete this is a high strength 4000 PSI uh, concrete mix. So just add water and mix and, and uh, I'm gonna do that in my wheelbarrow. So we'll get started on that. And then again, I wanted to show you the sprinkler head was about dead center right up against the porch. And so I've moved it all the way out to here. So I dug a little trench from the original location used some flex hose, ran it out there, put the sprinkler head back on so it's going to be just outside the uh, concrete pad there and that way I still have good coverage to water the lawn. Guys, yeah, so I'm back here uh, getting the water ready. I'm going to mix the first bag of concrete. As you can see, I've got it over here in the wheelbarrow ready to go. Concrete requires approximately a gallon for an 80 pound bag. so. Filling up uh, my bucket with about a gallon of water and we'll go from there. Okay guys, well I've got the uh, pad poured. I floated it a little bit. It's, uh, it is still a little wet. I'm going to let it dry a couple of hours and then smooth it out. Just uh, float it one more time and then let it dry a little longer. Give it a quick uh, brush, a real light brush with a broom. And then this project will be done and I'll pull the forms off. Back with you here. This pad's starting to dry some now. I'm going to use this little hand edger. Uh, what this does is it separates the concrete from the forms a little bit to make the forms easier to take off when it gets dry. Um, it also, as you run it along here, 
with your hand it makes a nice straight edge and go that way and then I'll turn it and go the other direction and as you can see along here it puts a nice clean edge on it and this will uh, it just gives it a little fancier look once you pull the forms off uh, I'll go over this one more time after it's dried another hour or so just to make sure I got a good clean cut and then we will do a quick broom of the top so that it gives it a little slight rough edge and um, and then you know pull the forms off and we'll be done with this project okay guys we're back here I'm gonna do the final step here I'm gonna broom this so that it does doesn't have a super smooth um, finish to it so it's not slick when it rains um, just take a little broom after it gets to this level and you just broom along There we go, and you can see the finish on it now is kind of slightly rough, but not too bad. Still gives it a good, uh, a pretty finish to it. But that way, if it gets wet or rains, and this is a rain downspout here, uh, you know, it'll get water on it. I don't want it to be slippery so i didn't want anyone to slip and fall on it so for tonight that's it uh tomorrow we will uh, i'll come back out take the forms off backfill around it and this project will be done okay guys i've uh removed all the forms and uh, backfilled around the slab and this is the final look at it turned out pretty good i think um really like how the using that edger rounded the edges really well and nice made it a nice finish there so um there you go um took probably a couple hours to do that put all the time together and not including the time that i spent you know gathering materials but uh it's definitely an at-home diy you know if you need to pour a slab for uh you know any little thing maybe a, a, a small storage building or something like that can definitely be done uh, by hand hey guys back with you today um, we're all done uh, as you can see uh, the weather's kind of turned a little cloudy and rainy today but we did were able to finish the product and the project uh, it's dried and and I've actually put everything back together now and like I said this is definitely a um, at home project you can do yourself in one afternoon um, so anyway if you like the video comment in the section below don't forget to give me a thumbs up share with your friends hopefully this was helpful I'll see you next time